Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. About 20 after 4, it is 8.24. Sunday, 78 and... 78.0, 78.8 degrees. That one says 77. For those of us overseas, 24.1 Celsius. Sunday, welcome to Sunday. So, what have I been up to? Many years ago, I guess it was 1978, I, um, when I went to college, I went through a five-year program. I got a BA in, in Physics, Bachelor of Arts in Physics, from uh, one of the state universities here in New York, up in Potsdam, New York. And... Um, I finished that like in the um, spring of 78 then I went to uh, um, Clarkson uh, for a couple of years actually I guess it was the spring of 79 and then I went to uh, Clarkson for 79 into 80 and 80 into 81 where I got my um, my BS in electrical engineering while I was at Clarkson, I um, lived off campus, and I had a housemate, uh, Dougie, and uh, he used to always sneak his girlfriend in, Kathy, and he's since married her, and they've been married forever now. Um, I guess they got married like in 81, so they've been married, what, 34 years? I got married in 81, too, just... It's always interesting when I uh, meet people. When were you born? 1985, 1990, 1995. So anyway, so I got married all the way back in 81, as did Dougie, as did Brian. Brian was actually my roommate from state. And then um, when he moved off campus, he joined me and he was room my roommate off campus. So the three of us... And Kathy, I guess, shared the upstairs of a house. Kathy was a non-rent payer. Um, she kind of uh, snuck in. Anyway, we try to get together once in a while, and we all managed to get together um, yesterday. Um, Dougie and Kathy own a place um, upstate New York, Lake Luzerne, not all that far from um, Stony there, Toasted Head 420, um, and his brother Joe. Um, so it was cool. We spent the day up there, you know, talking of old times, talking of new times. And it was just interesting. The reason why it's taken so long to get through this discussion is you guys have heard my stories of woe with my employer. And um, it turns out Dougie's employer notified him that he should be booking uh, 2,100 hours of billable time a year. He's a security consultant, an internet security consultant for systems and so forth. Um, anyway, they want him booking 2,100 hours a year billing excuse me, billing 2,100 hours a year for, for security consulting. And if you just take a minute and think, there are approximately 50 weeks in a year times 40 hours in each week. So there's your 2,000. Um, 2,100 means he's supposed to work 52 weeks a year and book more than every hour he's there. So basically, there's no holiday time in there. Typically, there's eight holidays 10 holidays whatever your company gives you some some people get as many as 13 to 15 16 holidays a year most people get two weeks of vacation at the minimum dougie gets six so if you take kind of two weeks for holidays and six weeks for vacation there's eight weeks times four there's 320 hours that they basically want him to make up on his own time. So there's Tuggy, Dougie's uh, tale of woe with work. And uh, Brian, the third guy, was talking about, they just closed his school. He was a director of a music program down here in Dutchess County, and they closed the school. So they... Uh, 
now he he got he had tenure and seniority so he didn't lose his job but he got brought into a different school where he's kind of though he's the senior person and the tenured person and all those wonderful great things he's a kind of low man in the totem pole at this music department so it's it's kind of interesting all us 55 year old guys are uh, finding ourselves uh, in interesting situations but that's not why I'm uh, actually making this videotape, though I just wasted five minutes of your time talking about it. I've been chipping away at the, uh, at the basement, and I guess what I have to get myself used to is the idea that this is no quick and simple project. Just think like when Musty One was redoing the Volkswagen uh, single cab how long it took him to gradually, you know, chip away, figure out what he needed, install it all, weld it in, take out the rusty stuff, and before he even got to start welding everything together. And, um, yeah, and that's kind of what I'm doing. Dug this trailer up out back, and then when I uncovered it, I discovered, you know, engines and compressors and flamethrowers and furnace parts. This is the metal I picked up and just kind of dropped here. But uh, jacks. So here's this trailer I'm planning on, on using and oops, it's all full of crap already. Welcome to my world. Um, this is the third battery this thing's had in it in the last few hours. Turns out I have um, dead battery collection. That die hard right there is from 2005. So uh, it's no good. This is from 2008. It's no good. The DECA battery there below it. That guy that was in a Kia from 2000. So here's my dead battery collection. I think there's another three or four more by the upper garage, so I'm going to collect all those up, turn them in, and uh, be done with it. I might have showed I showed you guys before, I think, that this had some charbroiled wires. Um, what I did is now they're going through this hole, and the hole is not sharp. I also, they're away from the exhaust system now. Um, probably what I should do is bind them up and get them get them a little tighter in there but for now they appear to be safe um, I threw another battery on here if you look at the code A5 this is another 19 or another 2005 battery so yeah my 2005 2008 collection of dead batteries I have to turn them in and get going on it anyway so you guys can see I have the battery charger on it. She's in neutral. Turn the gas on. Give it a little choke action. And let's see what she does. A little less choke action. One-handed man isn't doing a good job at this. Let's try a hand and a foot.
yeah she's a little cold she hasn't been run much so there's the Cushman she's fired up again it appears as if the electrical system is behaving what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the charger on it overnight so that that battery peaks up and there's that um, you guys could see I could get it out of here once it's out of here the backhoe loader will actually fit in here tuck right in here and then um, I think I'll still have space to get around it and so forth I would like to get the backhoe loader in and I'd like to get this thing in over there um, to get the backhoe loader in once once the backhoe loaders in right the shelf goes over the bucket and the generators go in the bucket so this will be out of here this horde of generators it's got me scratching my head um, one of these is um, fine it runs it needs uh, needs the basket changed is all the starting basket right on the end there um, so it's all good the second one the other two, one has a dead motor, one has a dead alternator. The one with the dead alternator, it looks like somebody, somebody dicked with the wires. They're, uh, they're not even there. Um, I don't know, could you see the hole coming out of it there? Right, no wires coming out of that hole right there. So, I'm not sure what the hell they did to that. Um, this one was very low hours. I mean, you can look at it and see but somehow they threw a rod on it I'm not sure if it seemed to have oil in it so I'm not sure why it threw a rod um, Troy built so this crap is all made by the same people so it looks so I plan on swapping one of the engines over one of the things slowing it down though is obviously those two generators already run and one of the three of them already run and uh y you know it's like oh yeah i gotta worry about the lights going out if i blow up that many generators i got uh, other issues so but somehow i gotta figure out a way of getting this crap out of the way once again i want the cushman over there um it's getting there and it's kind of like chipping at chipping it away at it a little at a time um, and I really hate doing this kind of basement cleanup stuff I don't know how many of these jugs have, that I've uh, thrown away empty they just seem to be absolutely everywhere um, you know I just a little at a time I gotta go through every container every you, you know the uh, casters I need to f get them where they belong you know the jacks everything like that I just need to start and kind of go through stuff a little bit at a time and throw it away I have a bunch of these um, jugs like that red one you can see it back here I'm touching it um, some of those are just shot just from age the plastic is shot um, and the worst thing you really want to do is take one of those jugs fill it up with gas and have it pour gas all over your car wherever you have it sitting or even the bed of your pickup truck right so I you know it's just a matter of I have to pick up literally pick up every object in this garage and you just start looking at every single object you know between that old Rio right there and everything else and I have to decide what am I doing with it that Hitachi saw you know just pick it up am I keeping it or am I getting rid of it if I'm getting rid of it is it scrap metal or is it just crap and goes in the garbage right and if it's scrap metal you know prepare prepare that to go so very very time-consuming boring <laughs> annoying <laughs> um, some occasionally a bit upsetting when you discover stuff that you have that just because of the way it's been stacked and stored now it's not worth anything it's crap um, that's a bit upsetting you, you know but 
I've been collecting this hoard up for, you know, 35 years, 34 years, whatever it's been. And, you know, sometimes when you collect that many eggs, you break a few. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. We'll catch you on the next episode of The Horde, which will probably be tomorrow. So till then, enjoy your lives. Enjoy every moment God has given you. Thanks. Bye now.